टुडे आई विल रिव्यू इस्लाम इन मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री बाय विल्फर्ड स्मिथ दिस बुक वाज रिटन अराउंड 1957 टू द मुस्लिम ऑफ कोर्स इस्लाम इज द रिलीजन ऑफ गॉड दिस मींस अ ग्रेट मेनी थिंग्स अमंग अदर्स दैट इट बिगन नॉट इन द सेवेंथ सेंचुरी ए डी बट एट लीस्ट ऑन द डे ऑफ क्रिएशन इफ नॉट बिफोर वेन गॉड क्रिएटेड द वर्ल्ड The fall of Baghdad in 1258 marks the formal end of the once tremendously successful Arab empire. The Mongol invasions that the fall epitomized certainly dealt the Arab world a devastating blow. Many millions were killed, whose areas were laid utterly waste and political rule is the center of the Muslim world passed into the hands of barbarian infidels. Yet the date is but a symbol. On the other hand Arab culture flourished for another 2 centuries and more in areas unravaged by the Mughals notably Cairo and Spain now the second period is the Sufism religiously the fundamental innovation was the spread of Sufism for example the greatest of the Sufis Jalaluddin Rumi produced his poem Masnavi a few years after the fall of Baghdad Wahhabism the first islamic movement in the modern period were protest against the internal iteration they would call the halt to descendants summoning muslim society back to its first purity and order wahhabi message was straight forward a return to classical exam wahhabi preach is islam all else is superfluous and wrong apart from preaching they said to establish their society to bend earthly life once more to the classical purpose of god the founder al wahhab effected an alliance with a local ruling prince ibn saud so the theory and practice should go hand in hand so wahhabis are crying back to the quran and back to the sunnah have men back to the god of Quran and his command back to the spirit of sunnah the islamic tradition was formed on the principle that destiny is in the hands of god it is allah who controls events the crisis of arab is acute and within it the crisis of islam is acute its greatest problem is the degree to which those who in the fullest sense know the religion have largely lost contact with the modern world and those genuinely oriented to modernity have largely lost contact with their religion sir sayyid ahmed khan exemplified liberal islam more forcefully than he formulated it he was a muslim acting on the liberal values with sincerity and effectiveness yet he did not succeed in getting across to his generation or its successor and an interpretation of islam into which the liberal values were integrated this book identified different phases of islam number 1 is classical which ended around 1200 with the mongol invasion second is sufi islam then third one was the wahhabi islam late in 1700 and then fourth was sir sayyid he tries to bring reformation the modern islam